July 1988, a teenager stands before the world's hardest math problems. While other kids struggle with basic algebra, this guy achieves something out of this world. A perfect score at the International Math Olympiad, not once, but twice. Fast forward to 2025, that same mathematical genius just pulled off something nobody saw coming. Something that has the entire political world in shock. He's about to become the president of a country. But here is the million dollar question. Can someone who thinks mathematically survive the chaos of politics? Get ready, because this story is insane. Our story begins in 1969 in a small Romanian town called Fagaras. While other kids played with toys, little Nico Chardin played with math problems that made professors sweat. This wasn't just a smart kid, this was something entirely different. At 17 years old, Nico Shor enters the International Mathematical Olympiad. Think of it as the World Cup of Mathematics, but way harder. The result? Perfection. He scores 42 out of 42 points, a perfect score at the IMO. But wait, it gets crazier. He does it again the next year. To put this in perspective, it's like winning two Olympic gold medals by breaking world records, while blindfolded. The judges couldn't believe their eyes. His solutions weren't just correct, they were beautiful. A perfect score at the IMO twice means that no problem was hard enough for him. This guy might be 100 times smarter than the hardest math exam in the world. It was as if the mess of mathematics had emerged on the global stage. After conquering mathematics in Romania, Nicosor heads to Paris, to the École Normale Supérieure. This place has produced more field medals alumni winners than MIT, Harvard, Stanford and Princeton combined. In 1998, he gets his PhD. Silicon Valley calls. Millions wait. Fame, fortune, guaranteed success, but Nico Shore makes a choice no one saw coming. He buys a one-way ticket back to Romania. Why would a genius walk away from guaranteed success? The answer will blow your mind. Romania needs me more than Paris, he said. While French academia was perfectly oiled, Romania was alive, full of problems worth solving. Not math problems, real problems. It felt like his true calling. Romania educated him. Now it's time to pay back. But Romania's problems weren't abstract equations waiting to be solved. They were concrete, urgent and political. Back in Bucharest, Nico Shor watches historic buildings being demolished. For a mind that sees patterns and perfection, this chaos is unbearable. No equation can stop a bulldozer destroying our heritage, he realizes. The mathematician had found a problem that mattered. In 2006, he launches Safe Bucharest. The mathematician becomes an activist, but activism wasn't enough. He needed power to create change. 2012, first run for the mayor of Bucharest, lost. 2016, second attempt, lost again. Most people would quit. But remember, this is a guy who solved impossible math problems for fun. He co-founds a new political party, the Safe Romania Union. But then he does something shocking. In 2017, Dance Party's board decided to officially oppose a controversial referendum that would define marriage as only between a man and a woman. Nico Chardin does the unthinkable, he quits. Not just as the party leader, he leaves the party entirely. Why would he abandon the party he built? I promised this party would become everyone, progressives and conservatives. By taking sides in this cultural war, we are betraying half of our supporters. The worst thing, he warned, is if Romania stops debating who steals and who doesn't, and starts fighting about who defends traditions. While others compromise for power, Nico Shaw walks away from his own party because he refuses to play political games. Critics called it political suicide, allies called him naive, he called it integrity. Sometimes walking away is the first step towards a real comeback. It has been a very hard period for Nico Shaw between 2017 and 2019 as an independent. But an IMO gold medalist never gives up. In 2020, he attempts to become mayor of Bucharest for the third time. This time, something is different. The people are tired of corruption. They want someone who thinks differently. The result? He wins with 42%. The exact number he scored perfectly at his math olympiads. Coincidence? Maybe the universe loves symmetry. The mathematician had cracked the political code. In 2025, the presidential election of Romania took place. While other candidates kissed babies and made empty promises, Nico Shaw ran his campaign like a math problem with statistics, data, and cold hard logic. The math genius wins. For the first time in history, a double IMO gold medalist becomes the president. 
Uh, the latest is that Nick Ashordan will be Romania's next president. He might be the smartest leader the humankind has ever seen. Romania just elected one of the smartest people on earth to lead their country. In a world where politicians promise everything and deliver nothing, where loyalty to party wins over loyalty to principles, Romania did something revolutionary. They put one of the smartest people on earth in charge, someone who sees governance as a problem to solve, not a game to win. This isn't just about Romania, it's a message to the world. Could this spark global shifts? A political IMO effect where problem solvers replace politicians rely only on charisma. Democracy might be evolving from a system that selects for persuasion skills to one that selects for problem solving ability. Nico Chordan might represent a phase transition. The experiment begins now. It's whether democracy can evolve to value problem solving alongside charisma. Nikoshor's dance journey suggests that the answer isn't choosing one over the other, but finding leaders who can master both. History is being written right now. What do you think the future of Romania will look like? Comment your predictions below. Hit like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you.